can you talk about kind of the high school years now? Because, you, you know, you've grown up being best friends with him. Uh, what was that like, kind of being a rock star? The high school years, it, 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 it happened fast. The strength of the lower ledge, the explosives. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. Well, simply put, Dan, LeBron James is the best high school basketball player I have ever seen. I've never seen anything like that before from a high school team. It was exciting. It was like an excitement in the air. I can't remember a, a, a basketball team here who grabbed their national attention like that team grabbed their national attention. For them to go take a national championship, everybody played their role. You know, you watch that game on TV. Yeah, LeBron played well, but you had Brandon Williams shooting greens. You had Drew controlling the court. Romeo was grabbing bounds and, you know, dunking on people. Everybody played their own. I think they all know that they had to do it together. And, he, and LeBron knows that too, because, you know, he's always shot out the team with the Fab Five. James wears number 23, but he got a lot of help from Romeo Travis with nine points and eight rebounds. Akron is a, uh, it's not a not a big place, not a great amount of opportunity here, um, but it's a, uh, it's a place that if you come from here, if you make it out of here, you know I, I believe you can make it anywhere. People just go to a job they hate every day and just go home and go to work or just sit at home and do nothing. That's pretty much Akron in the rap, so I'm happy to make it out. Romeo as a kid was quiet. He pretty much kept to himself. He's just a friendly kid. He never got into an altercation with anyone. Well, he really loved football. That was his love, but basketball came natural to him. It was easy for him, so. It was an opportunity, I guess, that he just didn't want to pass up. When he was younger, he prayed that he would be tall because he didn't want to be short. And God answered his prayer. A uh, straight-A student, got good grades in school. Pretty quiet, normal. It was difficult because he knew his father and his father literally lived around the corner. So there was no reason that he shouldn't be able to come to visit him and to get him and spend time with him. It was really, really hard on him because he really loved him and he believed in him. You know, when he would say, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna come, he really believed it. And then when it didn't happen, it just, it hurt his heart. hurtful for all of us, um, but for him, having a father, and that's why he's such the great father that he is, and he also is a great uncle as well. Where are we at right now? Right now we at the St. Vincent and St. Mary. We got state championships for days. This is what we do. We're going to go up to LeBron James Arena. You know, I'm fortunate enough to have keys to the gym, so. Anytime it's open, I can just come in here and, you know, kind of get some work in. Overseas, 
just, it becomes your life, you know. It's, um, it's your home. It's tough, it's not easy. It's not just basketball. Um, you have to immerse yourself in the culture almost, you know. Or you can go crazy over there, you know, just keep thinking about home and home and everything. Um, it's uh, a job like anything else. You know, he, you could tell he, he was excited about the experience to go, but you could tell he was kind of maybe nervous. You know, he didn't want to leave his family behind, but he took it real well, you know, because it's actually a, a growing experience for him. I'm going to miss my girl, you know, but uh, my kids more than anything, because uh, not, there's no experience like a day-to-day -day experience, you know, like it's cool to, take, you know, go to a swim meet, but it's, it's better to take your kids to, to swim and practice, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to miss the day-to-day -day stuff, you know. Uh, Picking my daughter up, taking her dance class, you know, you know, hanging around, taking baths with my youngest one, and it's just you know, just it's just the small the small things that I miss. I'm not an emotional guy, but my daughter calls me crying, saying that if she missed me, I could do nothing but cry with her because I miss her, maybe more than she missed me, and it's just like uh, I I try to tell her why I'm here, and I convince myself why I'm there. Like hey, I'm here for this, and I'm here to help your life get better, and you know I want to give you all the things that, you know, I never had and kind of help the stability of, you know, your life. And so um, I'm here, I'm doing this for not only me, but for you. Don't cross those feet, up and down, up and down, up and down, don't cross. Oh, shit. Don't cross. Oh, no. Get it, Come on, keep them balls down. Run. Oh, shit. Get it, Come on, keep them balls down. Run. It was tough, you know. Um, I was already wavering on if I wanted to play or not, and my cousin passing that really pushed me over the edge to not play. And then uh, my aunt, you know, she sat me down and was like, uh, "Don't stop for a minute." I fell back in love with basketball, and right now I'm very, very excited for the opportunity that's in front of me because I enjoy getting better. You know, uh, when shots start going in, and you know, when you're not getting as tired in drills, and you, you, you can do more things with your body. I feel like I'm getting better. It's, it's, it's not only basketball. Basketball is what you're doing, but you're also giving, teaching yourself discipline. You're teaching yourself, you know, uh, work ethic. You know, you're self motivating yourself because, you know, at the end of the day, I don't have to work out. You know, I don't have to go to the gym. I pay a trainer to work me out. I don't have to do those things. Like that's all, you know, internal. So it's just me getting better, and I, and I want to be better. It, I think it hurt him. I think that it really did bother him at first that he was not going to go into the NBA because it didn't make sense. It's like he can play as well as any of the other players, you know. So I told him maybe, you know, God didn't want to put that on you. He didn't want you to be so overwhelmed with all this stuff because it could be too much. And I didn't want it to be too much for him. The small things in life that, you know, that people take for granted, but uh, your friends are the ones who tell you the truth, who like, you know, this is what's best for you. This is what I believe is best for you. And I wanted to quit playing basketball. One of my friends, he called me and said, you act like a little bitch. Like he told me that, you know, like normally somebody said that to you, you ready to fight. And, but when it's the truth, you can only do nothing but like, damn, like I was acting like a little bitch. You know, like, it's time for me to get my shit together. And you know, and that's what and that's what my friends do for me, and that's what I hopefully I can do for them. It's the same thing, you know. It's just reflect honesty and love, you know. And that's all we really need from each other: honesty, loyalty, and love. I mean, that's what it, like uh, it, that's what how that's how we go, you know. Like today was his turn; he was in the forefront of the workout. Other days, Drew was running the workouts, you know. I'm really, I don't really like running the workout, so I'm more of a like, whatever you say, we just gonna do it kind of guy. We all been in different places, we've all been around different basketball minds, and we all have something different to bring to the table. 
we all help each other. We're all brothers, man. We all just, you know, lift each other up and we just try to make each other better.